Okay, getting down to the wire here. Um, go ahead, save your file. Do a Command S or a Control S. And let's put it in the background. Come over to your layers palette. Let's lock down that belly layer. So click on the image layer and make a new layer because we want it underneath everything. And you can call it background. I usually just use BK back uh, for the background. So if you do a command or control zero, it centers the canvas so you can see everything. So make sure you can see everything, the edges of the, the white area. And um, come over to the left side, hit the drop down menu for the, uh, the shapes tool and choose rectangle tool. So you get the cursor. All you're going to do is hover, put the cursor over the corner, click, hold, and drag, and you're going to make a nice big uh, square. Okay, so the square is going to fill that. And it, it's, don't worry about the color. It's, it's going to use the last fill color that you chose, which was the, the belly color. So it looks weird right now. All right, so let's change the color. It's the square, the background square is selected. We're on the correct layer and uh, the uh, fill color is in the foreground. So let me think here. Let's go to beach and we have these really nice light blues. Um, I'm going to try this one here. There's like, this is like a greenish tint to it, which look might look kind of cool with um, the fish color we have here. So let's try that. And that's not bad. You can experiment with other ones. Um, that looks really terrible. Okay, that's... That's a little bit too bright for me, but it, you know, it's whatever your aesthetic is. But I'm going to choose this. I think I'm going to stick with this, this light blue here, right here. Okay. <clears throat> now we can put in some seaweed in the background here. So the, you could, this is not complex. You could put the seaweed on the same layer, but let's, let's do it this way. Lock down your background layer, make a new layer and call it weeds. Okay, this is something new. <clears throat> the written, and uh, what I want you to do here is go to window symbol libraries this is new stuff and then somewhere in here is nature window symbol libraries nature and this palette will come up um, choose there's a bunch of stuff here and you can these are free to use I mean Adobe gives them to you this uh, grass 3 works out pretty good so just click hold and drag and drop it, and then it's this little teeny tiny thing. Selection tool, click, hold, and drag it. This does not have to be in proportion, you know. I mean, it's an organic shape. So, bear with me here. At first, it's going to look hideous. Okay, so trust me. Um, it's the green is way too bright. It just looks really weird. The other thing is, uh, you want to see the, the bottoms of the grass here. You want to stretch those so those bottoms of the grass comes off of the canvas. So whenever you save this as a JPEG or a PDF or whatever, it'll look okay. So I kind of just freeformed and stretched this. Um, I'm going to think of compositional things. Uh, I like how this like nice sweep comes back here. So I got that. I'm going to do a Command C, Command V, Victor to paste it. And I'm going to distort this a little bit, maybe widen it up a little bit. Um, it looks really funky because they're the exact same image. You could grab, you could flip the, the image, just grab this um, bounding box here, click, hold, and drag, and just pull it all the way over. So you can vary the size and shape of this thing. Make sure that the little ends are off the canvas here. And it's okay if they overlap. It's seaweed. 
and I'm going to have one more really thin one. So I'm going to Command C, Command V, little tiny, skinny, um, and move them around until you get like a composition that you uh, are okay with. Whoops. This still looks weird because I got this and this. It doesn't look natural. And what else is going on here? Oh, I moved my background by mistake. That's what happened. Okay. Let me see here. That's looking a little better. Okay, so this really super duper bright green for the the leaves in the background just is not doing it for me. Um, so select all of them up here in the opacity. Let's crank down the opacity and just use your own judgment to get something where it looks okay to you. And I don't want my seaweed interfering with my beautiful little fish, so I'm moving stuff around. And let me do a command zero. And that's our finished product right there. So I'm going to lock down the weeds and save it. And that's that. So there's our, oh, wait, there's one more thing I want to do. That's our fish. I want, you could put a little drop shadow behind the fish. Um, select the fish layer, unlock it with the selection tool. Select the fish, okay, command C, lock the fish layer, go underneath the fish layer, in this case it's weeds, and make a new layer. Call it shadow. Now paste in place. Edit, paste in place. Well, so what? Now we got a fish under a fish. What I want you to do is you could nudge this down a little bit. Okay, so it's like that. Go to metal. Choose like this nice like a like a blue gray. That's a little bit too bright. Something like that. And you get this nice little shadow effect underneath. That's like I chose like a that's like a has a purple hue to it. I kind of want more of a a greenish gray. There you go. So I use this color for the shadow. So that last uh, little bit might have just rewind if you missed it. I mean, <laughs> so it's been a long journey, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna lock this down. I'm gonna do Command S. And here I'm getting this as modified outside of Illustrator. I don't know what that means. Yes, I want to continue. And there is my completed fish.